sociopath is a term used to describe someone who has antisocial personality disorder or better known as ASPD. What is ASPD? It's important that you understand what the term ASPD means to gain a deeper insight into what a socio sociopath could be. ASPD or antisocial personality disorder is a mental health condition. People with ASPD show no regards for right and wrong and they ignore the rights and feelings of others. They manipulate people, they might treat people harshly, they show a lack of guilt and remorse for their actions and they lack empathy. Sociopaths use mind games to control people. They have certain frameworks they can use to manipulate people and they are very good at mirroring their victims and of course they know how to charm people to gain things from them too. Sociopaths do not respect social norms or laws and if they do they might be doing so only to gain something. They lie, they deceive people, they might make false identities of themselves online, even offline. They are very focused on using others for their own personal gains. Apparently sociopaths are not that great at making long-term plans, that's what people say, but I disagree with that a bit. They are good at planning ahead, but when in action, they don't plan ahead when manipulating people because they behave in such ways that they forget the future possible consequences, for example, getting caught, not keeping up with the false image or stories they created, so on and so forth. Sociopaths can also be very violent, but that depends on many different factors, such as their upbringing. Uh, they could be irresponsible too, and by that I mean that they fail to complete their responsibilities. One main thing about sociopaths, though, is that they don't feel guilt or remorse for their actions. They don't feel much guilt or remorse. They would know that they're doing something wrong, but they won't feel guilt or remorse. Sociopaths are very clever people, especially when it comes to manipulation. They use all sorts of things to manipulate people. For example, they might use their humor, their intelligence, your intelligence, your hobbies and interests, your weaknesses, your loved ones and their charisma to manipulate you. They, mani they manipulate people in very sneaky ways. You wouldn't catch on to it so easily. Sociopaths also have this feeling or sense of being superior, more knowledgeable and stronger than others. They have this sort of God complex to themselves. Because of these traits they possess and because they get bored of people very easily, they have a need to move on to the next. Uh, sociopaths will also have problems with keeping up with friendships and with relationships too. Sociopaths can control people by intimidating them or threatening them. They might give the person threats of committing suicide. They might intimidate you with the amount of information they have attained from you. Sometimes people feel intimidated without them saying much because they might have caused someone to open up so much that in the end it becomes very scary to take any action because people fear that the sociopath might expose this info they have on someone to someone else or to some place. The huge difference between a sociopath and a psychopath would be that the sociopath has some conscience about their actions. They know what they are doing is wrong but they might ignore, what, ignore that uh, whereas a psychopath just doesn't have any conscious about good or bad. They have no moral doubts. Sociopaths can feel a level of guilt or remorse unlike the psychopath. I hope that helps you out to know what a sociopath is. If you would like to know more about dark minds, philosophy, psychology and politics, then kindly subscribe to my channel. Thanks.